Stephen Kahn, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. Our interview segment brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the Best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And this interview is being streamed live on our Facebook page as well. So joining us, if you're watching us left to right, we have Eli Aiken and Jessica Mulville, and they are with Youth in Aviation. So good morning. How are you folks good doing morning. today? Thanks for having us here. And Eli, how are you doing this morning? Good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. So Youth in Aviation, this is uh, out of Jimmy Stewart Airport from what I'm assuming. Yeah, we're a nonprofit here in Indiana County. Uh, we focus on helping uh, connect youth in Indiana County with flying and everything aviation. So that includes um, learning about avionics. It talks about um, STEM uh, and land management. I mean, there's so much that go into aviation um, beyond the flying, but Eli is a great uh, advocate for flying. He's been flying um, with uh, Innovative Aviation, mm -hmm. um, and he's a, a rising sophomore here in Indiana, so he can talk a little bit more about his experience as well. So what got you into aviation, Eli? So actually this camp that's coming up from July 26th to the 30th got me into it. Mm -hmm. After the camp, I signed up for a flight, and I loved it, and then I came back for the next year, and that's what's going to come up. So it's just going to continue on like this? Yeah. So you think you're going to pursue uh, aviation as a career in yes, some Yes, that'd form? be the goal, yeah. And what, is, and what is your ultimate goal within the aviation world? Um, I'd like to become a commercial pilot. A or, commercial pilot. Uh, a okay. private pilot, so yeah. All right. Have you gotten any credits yet? I have not. I'm almost to my solo. That's the next That's step. a That's, that's a, a big one. That is a yeah. big step, though. I mean, the solo credit like that. So that's good. So you're still you're still in training with uh, with a teacher on board. It sounds yes. like. Yes. What is it like? Because I've only ridden in the backs of airplanes. I've never been up. I've been up in the cockpit once on the ground whenever it was my first commercial flight. So what is it like from the cockpit to to fly? Oh, it's it's the best feeling ever. You have full control of the plane. That's what makes it the best probably the best hobby that I could ever experience. That would scare the bejeebers out of me, to tell you yeah, the it's truth. Yeah, it's scary at first. It is scary. Yeah. Okay. But but you find the fun in it, and that, and that's great. Yeah. So um, are you going to be taking part in this year's camp as well? Yes, I will. Are you going to be a student or a counselor or what? I think it's both, so I'll be teaching part of it and learning in that second half. Of and day. what will you be teaching? So I think uh, Patrick Mulvihill, he told me that I'll be teaching uh, pre-flight Mm -hmm. Which is like just checking over the aircraft, okay. before you're flying. And stuff yeah, like that. going over that lengthy checklist yep. before you head up into the skies. And what sort of plane do you fly? If it's I may a ask? Piper Warrior. It's about a 1970. Wow. Okay. So it's not unusual then to see a plane from the 70s. Yeah, still they, flying they last today? a very long time. They so. last a long time. Yeah. Excellent. Because you do know that there's that big plane that's on the the I call it the pole or the plinth out there. The, oh yeah. You know, that Jimmy. There was. They used to be Jimmy Stewart's. Mm -hmm. Air personal aircraft that was salvaged, but they it was so beat up and worn down by years of use and yep. then years of neglect that they couldn't that it was no longer airworthy. So it's good to hear that there is a lot of airplanes that are still airworthy. Now this camp experience is it going to focus on other areas of flight, not just uh, behind the stick, maybe oh, drone of drone air flight as well. Uh, I don't know about drone, but but what what else is it going to be able to focus on? Uh, mechanics, avionics, weather, maps, the airport, parts of the plane, flights, land management, and game wardens. So that's a lot of different topics then. Yes, a lot of different topics associated with aviation. When will this run again? From June. Oh, June 26th to the 30th. So it's coming up pretty quick. Are, is it, is the, are the classes filled up? No, we can still take um, registrations for this week. They can go to learntoflypa.com um, and uh, check it out. There's a fourth and fifth grade session, which is in the morning. And then uh, we have junior high, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, so rising sixth, seventh, and eighth graders in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then um, the high school, like Eli's group, is 9, 10, 11, or just recently graduated, and they're an all-day program. Okay. So that's why you were saying you're going to teach in the morning, and then you're yes. going to have cl further classes in the afternoon. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. I mean, that's great. It's kind of like being the camp counselor out at summer camp, I would think. Mm -hmm. All right. It is pretty cool, too. I'm um, sorry to, to jump in. We Go have ahead. a lot of... Um, a lot of community members who have uh, come on board with us. Um, we've got uh, Life Flight from Allegheny Health Network coming mm -hmm. in to talk to kids about that career path. So a lot of the feedback we had from last year 
was talking about career paths and the different places that they can go and how to get there. Um, Because sometimes um, folks come at it from different ways, and that was definitely one of the things. So we've got Life Flight. We have the Pennsylvania State Police um, Mm -hmm. Aviation Unit from Harrisburg flying in. Wow. And I I assume they're probably bringing some of their best pieces of equipment to for for further inspection, we shall say. Yep. All right. So how long has this camp been going on? This is the second year. Second year, and it's already been pretty popular. Yeah. We're pretty excited. It seems there's a need in Indiana for it. Well, there's a need. There's an airport. Why not? Why not indeed? But, of course, to run this, there has to be a lot of funds that go behind it, which I think is the purpose behind the upcoming 5K. Yet. Yeah, we have. So this is our third year for our 5K, mm-hmm. and it's the uh, Run the Runway 5K. It's a walk-run, so don't uh, let that be afraid to, to the run part. Um, we have a lot of walkers, and a shout-out to my mom, who's in her 70s. And she did the, her first 5K last year as a walker and, nice. and did great. So. We're having it again this year. It's on July 9th. It's a Sunday morning, 7 a.m. start. Um, You can sign up at jimmystewart5k.com. It's only uh, $20. Um, You can sign up the day of as well. And you get to go have your personal uh, tour of the runway. Um, So we do shut down the runway for a short amount of time. And then we're having a pancake breakfast afterwards. Okay. So where does the course run? Uh, On the runway. You're right on the runway. Right on the runway. Yep. Oof. Yep. Intimidating. It is, but it's nice and flat. Yeah, that's the, that's a, that's <laughs> so. the good thing about it. It's not like a cross country race where you're going over yep. hill over hill and dale and dodging the bushes. Yep. But but then this was pretty popular too. You said this is third year. For this, this is our third year for the race. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, the the really cool thing is we've got some community members who've chipped in, and um, the trophies for the top male and top female again this year will be actual runway lights. From the Jimmy Stewart Airport oh. runway, retired lights. So um, we've gotten uh, Luxembourg's and uh, Innovative Aviation and some folks over at uh, JSA come together and they build these really awesome trophies and um, that are the actual lights from the runway. So we hope that you guys can come out and support that. I wish we had one in studio now so that we They're could show our people right on now. Facebook. <laughs> we are talking with Jessica Mulville and Eli Aiken with the youth and aviation program at the jimmy stewart airport and we've been talking about summer the summer camp experience that's coming up and also the 5k run that will help benefit that summer camp experience and uh eli we were talking with you about flying earlier i mean uh that's yes. it, it's a you you hear about it you hear about it a lot i mean you hear about celebrities learning to fly tom cruise learning to mm-hmm. fly a tomcat yeah or john travolta with his pilot's license yeah. Uh, but obviously, you found you found the pure, the pure passion of it. Yes, I mean. Um, so, what do you what would you say to anybody who is out there considering this, uh, maybe taking this summer course of of a summer camp? Well, it's a ton of fun. You get to learn. You get to see Indiana if you go on the introductory flight. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to experience the air and how the wind moves. It's probably the most truest feeling you could ever. That's about it. Yeah, that's about as close as <laughs> yeah. as close as you can get to flying without actually grabbing the stick. Huh? Yep. All right. And I, I I use the slang very generously, and I hope I'm not stepping on any boundaries <laughs> on that. So, but um, Jessica, again, this is a great camp idea yep. because, as you said, there's been a need for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did you hear about this particular need? Um, so, uh, my husband is a flight instructor out at um, Innovative Aviation, and um, he has always had a passion for flying. Mm-hmm. And our kids, um, our own kids, have really sort of gravitated towards that, if I can use that that kind of that pun. Sure, there. sure. Um, and so, we thought, well, if our kids are interested in it, there's got to be other kids who are interested in it, too. And so, it just kind of, if I may, took off from there. Okay. <laughs> But, but you got. But I. But as I understand it, this this got really popular. Were you surprised by how popular it is? I'm excited by this. Um, my husband and I are both educators, and so um, we uh, we've really put a lot of work into this. We're volunteers for the camp, and um, we have some other community volunteers. And it's just really nice to see that everybody's kind of pitching in and saying, "Yeah, this is going to be fun, and we want to show the best of what we have in our community." So, yeah, we're, we're, we're pleasantly surprised and but really excited. 
Well, Jessica, Eli, you're both great representatives of this program, and I think it's great that it's giving the youth of our uh, area another opportunity to learn about something that they probably wouldn't ordinarily learn about it than f- from watching YouTube videos. You really have to get out there and experience it. So, Eli, we'll talk about the camp. Let's just go through the, the nitty-gritty, as I call it once again. The dates of the camp again? It is June 26th to the 30th. June 26th to the 30th. How much is it for a person to register, Jessica? It's $20. $20 a yep. person? Yep. And they can find out. Oh, what... I'm, for the, no, I'm sorry. For the camp is yeah. the camp is $100. The camp's $100, $100. a yep. person. Mm-hmm. And um, they can find out more at Learn um, to Fly PA. Yep. Learn to Fly PA yep. dot com. Yep. And then you said the Jimmy Stewart 5K is $20. It's $20, yep. All right. And that's coming up when? July 9th. July Sun, 9th. It's a Sunday morning race. So um, it'll right be, and early. And it'll be after camp is over, Correct. sounds like. Okay. Yep. And more information can be found where? On JimmyStewart5K.com. And I'm sure that if anybody stops at Jimmy Stewart Airport or uh, with Innovative Aviation, which I think is a hangar there? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm sure if they stop by the Jimmy Stewart Airport, they can get more information as well? Excellent. Well, Jessica, Eli, thank you both very much for joining us here on Indiana in the Morning. Eli, best of luck. Have fun at summer camp this year. And, Jessica, I hope the 5K is a success. Thank you both again for for joining us. us. Thank you. All right. Eli Aiken and Jessica Mulville joining us this morning here from Youth and Aviation here on Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. Our interview segments are presented by Marcus and Mack, voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. It's 8.23 on Indiana in the Morning. In our next half hour, we'll be talking with Mark Hilliard from the Indiana County Chamber of Commerce. Later this week is the Indiana County Chamber Business Hall of Fame induction ceremony. The new class will be sworn in at that time, so we'll be talking with him about all the celebrations connected with that and also about a lot of the other things that are going on within the chamber. At 9.45, Josh Krug from the Office of Planning and Development will join us to talk about the subdivision and land development ordinance outreach meetings that are coming up in just a few days' time. It is 8.24 here at Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank. First Commonwealth Bank, time to be first member FDIC. It's time now for the CBS Sports Minute. This is-